Hello guys, uh, today we are going to learn about positional parameters in batch. So what are positional parameters? Uh, for example, when uh, we run a command, in this case the ping command, and uh, we if we want to ping yahoo.com, uh, the ping command in this case is taking one argument, and the argument in this case is the value yahoo.com. Uh, in batch, this um, it's called position of parameters. For example, if we wanted to uh, send only one packet to yahoo.com uh, using the minus C option and the number one, now we are passing three arguments to the ping command and um, now we have three position of parameters. So I have created a script and I can illustrate this better. I'm going to open the script in VI and um, what I'm doing in this script I'm echoing all the arguments being passed into the script. Uh, the first argument is a reserve is always, is always reserved uh, using dollar sign uh, zero to the name of the script and every single argument that you pass into the script takes the value uh, dollar sign one all the way through dollar sign nine. These are reserved for argument pass into the script. You can uh, also use values from ten all the way through infinite, uh, but those values are actually um, accessed using uh, the dollar sign uh, braces and then then uh, the number of the of the argument. Um, I'm going to echo the tenth argument using uh, tenth argument and then I'm going to close using quotation marks. So I'm going to save the script. And I'm going to open a chill, another chill, and I'm going to run the command. So if I run the um, the script by itself, notice that the zero argument takes the name of the script. So if I run the script again and I say, for example, if I pass the uh, the string "Hello World" and I press enter. Now the first and second argument are taking the value uh, hello is being assigned to the first argument and world is being assigned to the second argument. Arguments are separated by space. Uh, I could also say for example how are you I'm fine and you. So now I press enter and I have um, arguments 1 through 8 uh, being assigned in my script. So I can access the number of total um, values using uh, dollar sign and pound sign. So I could say total number of arg arguments and uh, using dollar sign and the pound sign. I'm going to save the script and run it again and then at the end now I got total number of arguments being 8. Um, another uh, va va variable that uh, it's important to know when passing arguments into a script is for example the dollar sign add symbol and this is basically an array containing all the arguments being passed so I could say all the arguments
I'm going to save the script. I'm going to run it again. And now I got total number of arguments 8 in the last line it says all arguments and then I printed out all the arguments being passed so the dollar sign add symbol is an array containing all the arguments being passed into the script and dollar sign pound is the number of arguments being passed and you can access each individual each, each individual argument using uh, dollar sign followed by the numbers 1 through 9 Uh, we can use a for loop to access or loop through all the argument through all the arguments. For example, I'm going to say echo looping through all arguments, and then I'm going to declare a variable called i, and I'm going to set it to one, and then I'm going to say for args in dollar sign at symbol do echo and I'm going to increment I by one and then I'm going to say argument dollar sign R I'm going to close a quotation mark and I'm going to say done and uh, I forgot to close quotation mark I'm going to save the script I'm going to run it again and then I say looping through all arguments and then I'm printing out every single argument to the screen using a for loop <coughs> so that's another way you can access all the arguments being passed into the screen using for loops uh, so what about if your script requires arguments being passed so we can there is a way that we can check for um, for the arguments be being passed and we can uh, prompt the user um, for um, for a way that they can uh, know how to use the script so we could say if total number of arguments equals zero then echo uh, we could say usage and um, we are going to use command substitution and we're going to use the base command which is going to give us the um, only the name of the file in this case we are going to use base command with um, with the first argument or the first position of parameter in this case uh, dollar sign zero which is the name of the script and we could say um, first or argument one argument two argument three and argument n indicating uh, the number of arguments uh, we close qu uh, quotation marks and I'm going to close the if statement I'm going to close the script I'm going to save the script and I'm going to run it again well now I'm going to run the script by itself without passing any arguments and I have an error so I had realized that I entered the wrong command using command substitution uh, so I entered base name the correct command is base name so I'm going to save it and I'm going to run it again and now I got the um, help printed out to the screen but I also got the rest of the script executing so this is not what I want. If you notice that if your script requires uh, the passing of arguments and um, as soon as you detect that the number of required arguments is, is not being passed, uh, what you have to do is exit the script 
right after you prompt the user. So I'm going to right at right after the echo, right after uh, outputting uh, the usage or the help uh, to the user, I'm going to exit the script minus one. I'm going to escape, save it, and then I'm going to run it again. And now I got usage, name of the script, argument one, two, three, and uh, an argument. So I'm going to next uh, say hello world. Press enter. And now the uh, help didn't get printed out to the screen and the rest of the script executed. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.